Hello everybody, I'm GTG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at keeping your items on death but only specific items and with a little bit of adjustments you could turn this into a custom enchantment. As you can see I've created a new plugin called Item Keeper and I've registered the main uh, defense to the main class. Of course you should use it in other class but just for tutorial sake I will use the main class. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to make an event handler because we want to log uh, the player's items when they die. So we're going to make a player death event listener. And of course always E and let me import that correctly. And what we want to do is we want to get a list of all the item stacks and items and that will equals a new array list of type item stack but you do not need to fill that in over there you can just do this and that will be fine because what we want to do is um, for this tutorial I only want to um, yeah I only want to save the items that the player has uh, some special attachment to it in other words the items that have item meta so what we are going to do is we are going to loop through all the items inside of the items array list uh, so item and we are going to actually loop through uh, the drops because if you get killed or if you die you drop all your items and uh, you can get that list easily by either get drops and uh, those drops will uh, contain everything from armor to uh, all your building blocks etc etc and what we want to check is uh, if the item has item meta so oh, let me actually put the space over there not an F so what we are going to do is if item dot has item meta then we are going to add it to the items list items dot add item and um, since we do not want to drop uh, the items that we added to the items list because that will duplicate them uh, because we are going to give the items list back to the player once they respawn uh, we also want to remove them from the drop so either get drops dot remove all and then we just remove items that will remove all the items with item meta from the drop list they will be saved inside of a hash map that we are going to create because we want to link the player to their items and over here at of the on enable class I'm going to make a public hash map and as a key I'm going to put in player and we are going to use as a value array list item stack so just as below there the items we are going to put them in and I'm just going to call it player items that equals a new hash map and we do not have to put in the uh, yeah the variables anymore okay that will create the player items hash map and we also want to log our items to that. So player items dot put player, which is e dot get entity with a player death event. A weird why they didn't call it get player, but it's called get entity. And for value, of course, items. Okay, then uh, we need to get the uh, a new event handler. We need to create a new event handler which will trigger on player respawn of course because we want to give uh, the player their items back when they respawn so it's just a simple respawn event e and what we are going to do is we are going to uh, get the items so player items dot get e dot get player so we're going to get the items from the hash map and uh, we are going to stream them and do for each item then we want to uh, e dot get player dot get inventory dot add item item uh, that way we give back the players items and of course when we are finished we want to do items dot remove e dot get player so that they cannot cheat the system for some reason and um, that's actually it for the coding part you can easily make it into a custom enchantment because if you log uh, a certain name inside of the lore of an item you can just check over here if that item has a certain lore and then edit it but since I didn't cover custom enchantments yet uh, I will not go into that 
Okay, let's go and check this out on the server. See you over there. So we're inside Minecraft now. I've started up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created. And as you can see, I have uh, created a couple of items. I've got my sword, killer of the unsubscribed, got my helmet, anti-insult, dislike protection, hate comment security, and spam defense, and my simple bow and arrow. And when I now kill, slash kill myself, slash kill, you'll see that all my items are gone. And when I respawn, all my valuable personally attached items are there and only the arrow and the bow have been dropped and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to the discord channel hope to see you over there thanks for watching see you next time